Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be the first of several screencasts documenting my experience on installing Snow Leopard on my Hackintosh PC. I'm actually following a guide from Adam Pash of the Life Hacker. Guide is called How to Build a Hackintosh with Snow Leopard Start to Finish. Um, it's actually already been superseded. With this guide, install Snow Leopard on your Hackintosh PC, no hacking required. There are a few things that you're going to need to get started, um, and those are documented in this tutorial. Um, the first is uh, supported hardware, which on this guide, Adam goes at length to discuss um, and even provides you the links um, to Newegg uh, so you can purchase um, a USB thumb drive that's at least 8 gigabytes in size. Um, that's used for restoring the Snow Leopard image onto so you can install it on your Hackintosh. Um, then obviously a copy of Snow Leopard, the install DVD, um, you can actually use the 29 upgrade $29 upgrade disc like uh, I've purchased, just head over to the Apple Store or go to apple.com and purchase yourself a copy of that. Um, and then another Mac to prepare that thumb drive. And if you're going to use this guide like I am, you're going to need one more thing, and that's the EP45 UD 3P Snow Leopard install package, which if you scroll down, you can find right here and download it. Um, Adam goes at length, includes a lot of videos himself and screenshots on what to do exactly for um, installing Snow Leopard onto this configuration. Um, like I said, I followed pretty much to a T exactly what he had documented. Uh, there are a few different uh, upgrades and extra goodies that I'm throwing in mine, and um, you will see soon. Um, I will include videos and pictures of the entire process. Um, first of all, you're going to need a video card. He recommends using the uh, EVGA GeForce 9800 GTX, a uh, 500 megabyte video card. Um, you need a standard serial ATA DVD burner. Um, this one that he recommended was $34.99 from Pioneer. Uh, I'm using the same flash drive he used. It's 16 gigabytes from Corsair. Um, the Cooler Master uh, case fans, the 120 millimeter case fans were just an extra goodie I picked up. I got four of those. Um, I also um, followed Stella Rolla's blog which documents compatible um, Snow Leopard hardware because um, I do need a wireless card in my Hackintosh so I picked one of those up for $13 um, then we've got the uh, Core 2 Quad Q9650 processor um, the Caviar Green a 1 terabyte SATA um, hard drive uh, 8 gigabytes of Patriot Extreme Performance RAM um, some Thermal Compound, Arctic Silver, um, Cooler Master Silent Pro 600 um, power supply uh, the most important part being this little guy right here, the EP45 UD3P Intel motherboard um, from Gigabyte. This is pretty much a must-have if you're going to follow this guide in this configuration. Um, another goodie, I've got myself a 15-inch cold cathode kit. Um, the Gigabit uh, network adapter from TrendNet. And then these stupid 3D Vision glasses came with a video card, so those are free. Uh, and then finally, the Cooler Master NV690. I'm definitely a NVIDIA fanboy, and this case just looks freaking awesome. So I'm excited about getting all these parts. They're supposed to be coming in. Um, I paid for shipping overnight, but I was a little late. The weekend got me, so it's going to ship out Monday, and it'll be here on Tuesday. Um, videos and pictures to follow. Um, the grand total for this setup was 1153.83 before shipping like I said I paid for next day shipping which was 130 bucks rush processing didn't apply so I knew I better refund me that three dollars so I can get myself some chicken nuggets and a shake at uh, McDonald's um, but the uh, grand total was 1287.08 and like I said um, in the next few days expect to see pictures lots of video and I'm gonna follow this guide to a T so you'll just have more reference on how to build yourself a Hackintosh with Snow Leopard on it stay tuned